Jetzt sind wir mitten im Festspielbezirk von Salzburg. Now we are in the middle of the festival district of Salzburg. But eventually we are at the old horse stables of the Archbishop Wolf Dietrich von Reitenau. In the most successful years of his life, he had about 150 horses and a traveling author wrote, even the bins for his horses to drink out of are made out of marble. It got so far that there was a vet for the horse living here and that the bishop had his own pharmacy for horses. This really is a one-of-a-kind story because the city of Salzburg only had three normal pharmacies back then. In 1920, the Festival of Salzburg was invented when the three marvelous artists Max Reinhardt, Hugo von Hoffmannsthal and Richard Strauss came together. They decided to build up a festival, which is now the most significant festival for music and representative arts in the whole world. There is an annual number of attendance of over 250,000 people. Salzburg and the festival just belong together. The first play was called Jedermann, and it was a play by Hugo von Hoffmannsthal, which is still luring and enchanting thousands of visitors at the Domplatz every year. In 1925, the horse stables were converted into the first festival halls. Originally, it was planned to build the festival district at the castle Hellbrunn, which is a few kilometers away from here. However, because it was shortly after the First World War, they didn't have enough money. Directly after the first festival summer, they started to reconstruct the festival halls. The so-called Kleines Festspielhaus was emerged. It was rebuilt in 2006 to be the house for Mozart, which we can see here. There is room for approximately 1,600 visitors. Only after the Second World War, the large festival hall was built, again under brilliant Clemens Holzmeister. The hall is largely built into the mountain. The stage, that is around 100 meters long, 25 meters wide and 9 meters high, is one of the largest stages in the whole world. There are seats for around 2,200 visitors. The third festival hall is the old Sommerreitschule. It all began as an old quarry, when building material was needed for the new cathedral and it was very convenient to not have a long transport distance. The first thing that was built was a training field for horses. Originally, the crowd sat on the stone frontage and watched the crazy show, which were similar to the shows in the Colosseum in Rome, because there were even fights with animals, which could be watched from the 96 lounges that were built into the stone. Since 1926, there is even an open-air theater. Max Reinhardt's stage in Faust, of which we can still find properties in the Getreidegasse. When the halls were fully constructed, everything changed. The seats for the crowd were positioned where the stage had been before, and the stage is now built onto the gigantic rock. In 1948, the first opera performance under Herbert von Karajan with Orpheus und Euridike took place. The roof of the theater can be opened, which looks very charming. Around 1,400 people can enjoy the art and the music that is offered here. All of the important musicians and artists of the last hundred years have already performed here. There are three halls and enough space for more than 5,000 visitors on a single evening. No need to wonder why the festival in Salzburg is well known and loved all over the world. If you're interested in knowing what is written in Latin, right up there at the house it is translated as The Muse's holy house is open to those moved by song, divine power bears us up who are inspired. The University of Salzburg was founded by the Archbishop Paris Lothron in 1622 
and it existed until the takeover of Salzburg by Bavaria. It was shut down in 1810, but 40 years later it began to be active again by the Habsburger. Today there are more than 18,000 students studying there and over 2,800 people are working there. That is why it is economically important for Salzburg. 60% of the students are not from Austria. Right next to the university is the Wildermannbrunn, which was originally located at the riverside of the Salzach in front of the gates to the Niederleghof that we will visit later. It used to be one of the most important fountains in the city. Right next under the veneer, on which you can see the university symbol and the Sunidal, is a little exposed canal of the Eim Canal, of which the water is responsible for the air conditioning of the festival halls. The statue of Schiller can be found in the park stems from the assets of Karl Freiherr von Schwarz, who we will get to know on the tour on the other side of the Salzach. We will now go back to the Rupertinum that is located right behind me and to the Philharmonica Gasse, to the University Church. You can listen to the next story there.